Hi guys, how are you going? Hope you're doing well. Do not question the state of my sewing room at the moment. I have not even been in this room like all week because I've just not wanted to face the mess after restocking things. <laughs> so let's ignore that. So I didn't have a video planned this week for YouTube and I saw on Instagram that swim style patterns have just come out with their own like relaxed drop shoulder like two piece lounge set that I have wanted for so long and I'm so happy it's finally out and I thought I could like do a video on cram making this new pattern because I really want to make it yeah so that's what I'm going to do today this is a bit of a spontaneous vlog I wanted to start it really early in the morning but it's like nearly one o'clock now and I'm only just getting started on it because I had to finish like all of my other work first. Hopefully it encourages you to research some patterns of your own and to get into making your own clothes because hopefully this is a success and hopefully it inspires you. The first step though is to purchase the pattern from their website and then I have to print it out. That takes arguably the longest time. I also, just because of time, I'm just going to head to Spotlight and pick up the fabric there. I think I'll need about 5 metres from what I've checked out. Um, I'll do probably the large size. So I'll grab 5 metres of fabric, pick it up from Spotlight, come back here, and we'll get straight into it and I'll spend the afternoon making it. Alrighty, I just got back from Spotlight. No point filming in there because it's like... Don't worry about it. So I'm a little bit like nervous. I didn't want to spend too much money per meter on my fabric. One, this is the first time I'm making the fabric, so add uh, the pattern, so it's never good to do that. But I also like, like I'm not, I didn't want to just for like budget reasons, I kind of wanted this to just be like a fun little thing. Anyway, turns out I had no idea what to pick and I was thinking just go with like a blue something blue because blue looks nice on me like it makes my eyes pop but also the pattern looks really great with like pops of like vibrant colors and they call like they suggest using like a cotton you can use a linen cotton blend like any kind of light woven fabric i'm still kind of getting used to fabrications and like how they differ and things like that um and i just kind of go off like what i enjoy wearing i love wearing cottons most of the time and I can do linens but sometimes they're like a bit thick so I wanted to avoid a linen anyway so I got two options and what I'm thinking of doing is making the top and pants in one of the options and then if I like it making another top in this other print so this first option came to $36.75 and there was 2.5 meters left on the barrel. So I need five meters if I'm making a large, the top and the pants. So I could probably just get the top out of this or yeah, I wouldn't want to really make the pants in this fabric anyway. And this is a rayon. This is the print. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why, but I think it'll look really nice as like the top, hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, I was, I went from like the rayons and the polys blends, cotton blends and stuff and I went over to the quilting stuff because I had to get other quilting fabric and I saw this print and it's an organic cotton which is my favourite fabric to work with. I haven't made clothes out of it though so I'm a bit nervous. And also I wanted to avoid stripes because I didn't want it to look like pyjamas but I just loved this and it's not even blue. I got five meters of it at $14.70 per meter and it costed $73.50. With the price of the pattern, which is $25, this set will cost $90 to make, plus the hours and hours that are about to go into making it. So that's just something to like keep in mind if you're looking at making your clothes. It is not a cheaper and more time saving exercise at all. Slow fashion is not about that. This is like the reality of making one garment. This is why you don't purchase like one garment if you're manufacturing products because it's like a waste of time, everyone's time and money. So 
yeah, but I thought that this like information might just be helpful if you ever think about, oh, I want to go and make my own clothes. How much is that going to cost? Or like what's actually involved? This is what's involved, especially when you go into the store and you have to feel the fabrications. Like you can read the descriptions on the website, but so many things are labeled cotton and they don't give you the details of what actually type of cotton how thick and all of that because you can get really thick cottons like canvas is cotton and it's like canvas although they do say that but anyway I digress I'm going to I'm just really like printing out these patterns are like my biggest pet peeve so I'm definitely moving everything out into the lounge room just so I have the cool air out here and it's like a big open space um I'm gonna go print off the pattern now and while that's printing out I'm just gonna clean up out here and get ready so let's get started okay so we have the first printed out which is the it doesn't say but I think it's the top so I'm just gonna lay it all out on the floor and then you have to cut and then draw it together I've gotten this far but I just ran out of glue so I'm gonna go and get some glue from the servo. Now all of the pattern pieces are cut out. This is the top and this is the pants. So now I'll cut them out of the fabric. I don't ever recommend cutting the paper to the size that you want. Um, definitely like trace it first, but just for time's sake, I'm cutting the paper. pieces are now cut out of the fabric it looks a bit um different color in the camera but So it's currently 7.39 and this is the entire back section and I'm just about to attach the yoke and the front sections together. But I just wanted to show you this pleat that I've done. It's like so nice. I really like that. Um, yeah, they're the front sections here. So this is all like where the buttons bits go and yeah. We're on track. I'm not really fatiguing too much. I'm just in like a um, argument with myself if I overlock or not. Because I'm up to the stage of overlocking and finishing the inside. But I have a love-hate relationship with my overlocker. So I just took way too long to figure out how to put this collar on. Like probably half an hour. I get to a point where I like can't read the instructions anymore. And I'm like, what are you asking me to do? I got like a um like an instruction wrong and it just literally sent me in like a hectic wrong spiral like I just couldn't like understand what they were what it was asking I was like what is this doing like anyway it turned out to be so simple but that's always the case that's why I'm always so grateful when patterns come with like a video because if I'm watching a video, oh my god, it's so easy. You just like pause and then, but reading, like you have to interpret someone else's tone, like, because with like tech patterns, you can't like, um, 
I'm not very like good with the language, so I'm like. I brought out my mannequin Stacy <laughs> because I have to attach the arms and I've got a peppermint tea. I'm going good. It's about like 10 o'clock, I think. I'm starting to try on before I hem it and I hate the pattern. I think it washes me out, so I have to put a tan on if I want to wear it. Um, it's giving like I work at a burger bar, but other than that, like it's fine. I'm just making the shirt and then I'm going to bed and I'm going to deal with the pants in the morning. Hey guys. So I'm not going to lie, um, I've had a massive weekend. I just, my sister and her, my nephews have just gone home now, but they were here the whole weekend with their dog. And I was literally trying to rush so this in between bits and bobs this weekend. So I like couldn't film as I was doing it, but I have completed it. I haven't sewn on all of the buttons and yeah, I'm going to do another video or in my vlog for next week. I'll, um, like make a shirt with a different material the other material that I got this is the finished piece and while I like I don't like this fabric in um like under this light of an afternoon it looks really bad but in the daylight it does look quite nice I definitely pick something that is way too thick so this is organic cotton um, it is a little bit thicker than linen in the sense that it doesn't like flow as nice I am going to wash this and then steam it and like see how it comes up I'm also just getting used to different fabrications like I said at the start of the vlog I'm really happy with like how I like it all came out I've definitely done too big of a size um, and that's again me just getting used to things. I have recently lost like 13 kilos in the last six months So I'm just not used to the fact that I could be like a small or a medium I could definitely fit a small and I'm normally like a 12 to 14 in Australia Yeah, so I will probably for the next pieces cut down The pattern to the medium size and then it will be really oversized, but this is like massive <laughs> um but yeah, I'm like happy, like the instructions were so easy to follow as always with the swim style patterns. I have also had a look at other t-shirts now and I like get things a little bit more. I know where I've gone wrong and like where I can go better next time. I might have to move out to the other thing for you to see. But this is it. Uh, like I said, I went for the shorts only because I wear shorts so much more than I wear pants and because it's a thicker material um, Like so it doesn't feel too pajama type like like I Definitely went for the shorts and I think that was the right decision. Like I said, I've only done one button um, But I have done like the all the buttonholes. I just Haven't had time to sew the rest of the buttons on um, and I probably won't until I wear it again, which I'm not sure when it will be. I do need to like tan for this um, like tone to fit me, uh, to suit me. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's pretty good. It's super like, like it's loungewear. It's amazing. Like you're just going to be chilling. So. me this week and I'll see you in the next vlog and I hope you have a good week and bye